mirror back here with the squirt. Today, we're gonna be doing the first video with the new Mazda 3 that we named Squirt. If you guys haven't watched that reveal video, I would suggest going and checking it out. I will leave the link up in the top right of the screen as of now. If you guys wanna check that out to see the brand new Mazda 3 that we picked up for $90. Today, we're gonna be doing the first video on Squirt. We are gonna be stripping the interior, cleaning the interior a bit, and getting on with its life. There's a few things that I messed up with. First thing being this video, this intro is being recorded about two weeks after we actually filmed this video. So this black grill was not on. That tow hook, I don't believe was on. And the interior of the car is actually already stripped. But let's pretend you never saw that. And let's go forward with the video. So apologize in advance. Jace recorded the first little bit on this potato camera. I'm using potato camera because I don't want to pull out the big camera and get it set up for just an intro. I'm still teaching Jace how to set camera settings to look nice. Let's move on to stripping the interior of Squirt and getting all that mold out and getting her cleaned up. What's it called? Squirt? Yeah. So folks, here's Squirt. Squirt's freaking nasty. <laughs> These doors are disgusting covered in mold. Actually, this entire car is covered in mold. The reason it's all moldy is there is no back glass. I don't know if it was broken or removed or what. It is disgusting. So the rear seat here is like that. So the first thing I did before I even drove the car is I took this out and I shoved it in the trunk. It is on a donut right now because that other steely one that was in the trunk. I don't know, maybe hit a pothole or something, but it's rowdy. Good old bend in it. Trunk had a lake, so I drained it. This carpet is sopping wet. And it's self-tapped to the ground back there, so I can't even get it out. But I don't want to touch it until I have gloves on. So they cut out the carpets back here because it was, you know, moldy. In doing so, I guess there was a bolt removed down here for the seat. So this seat is not really secured. Let's go around. It's wired for a sub. Don't know if that's gonna stay in or if it's gonna come out. Probably gonna go the same route, route as we did with Nugget, which is just completely strip everything. There's, There's a lake. There's a lake. Roll -ups in there? No, I checked oh. yesterday. <laughs> yeah, these seats have to come out. I, I, I don't know, man. This whole center console, all down in between the seat, has mold in it. This driver's seat is like it's got some California lean to it. Yeah. So everything, and I mean everything, got a decent amount of mold on it. Half the window switches don't work. There's also a bunch of sunflower seeds that I totally thought was rat poop. So yeah, we are going to strip this. Okay, so updates with where we are at. The whole interior, except the dash, has been stripped. So basically all the doors are off except that one. The headliner is completely out. The back of the trunk is out as well. We're just working on cleaning this out a bit more. Jace wasn't happy with my trunk work, so he's going at it again. Uh, we also pulled out the rear bumper. It's sitting here. We're going to try and push out this dent with a heat gun and see what we can do. But basically, the rest of the car is spread out across the garage. Other than that, we're going to keep working on this. Um, and then basically once we're done cleaning, that leaves us to finding a new carpet for the car, considering it didn't come with one. And the, well, basically it did, but the rear was cut out. So we need a whole new carpet. And then once we get a carpet, then we can basically put it all back together, get everything cleaned and demolded. And then one day we'll be pulling out the dash and doing the same thing, just not the suitable time right now. And then, as I forgot to mention, the headliner will be getting painted black is along with the A pillars so they're not beige and everything goes black and looks real nice. Hey look, a diesel. It's Choo -choo. it's the tractor. Choo -choo. It's it's a tractor. Okay, so our day is ended. It's pitch black outside. Did a little bit more cleaning on Swirt and we're currently in here right now doing some window switches and dielectric grease to uh, try and roll up the rear window. 
But other than that, our weekend has ended with this car. On to next weekend. It sucks here in Canada because it freezes and like it gets super cold. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and also turn on post notifications if you guys want to see more content with Squirt. All the cars are coming together well. Amber Stage 2, Squirt is stripped. Squirt will be nice again one time soon. And Shaniqua is out of the story right now. Keep it real. I'll see y'all in the next one.